Put your hands together with your heart and give God some glory. Oh Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came through 42 generations to save a wretch like me. Come on somebody, give him some praise. Say neighbor, why don't you glorify him? Everybody say to God be the glory. For done great things for me. Mm. No, for the Lord to do something Jesus. great for you. Yes. Jesus. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. This is all in name. You need to do something deep for you. Mm. My God, awesome. And for the Lord to do something deep for you and I. Yes. Jesus. For God to do something big Hallelujah. through us, yes. He must first do something deep in us. Deep in our hearts. Turn us around. Turn our morning into dancing. Put some dancing in our feet. One song writer said, when I feel the beat, I'm going to move my feet and clap my hands. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. You see with me, right? God must put in our hearts a melody of love. In my heart, there rings a melody. There rings a melody of love. I want you to keep it in your mind, keep it in your mind, that when you're on the mountain, you're settled, looking where you're coming from. But the time is best to be in the valley. Yes, 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 you. Yes. You won't be on the mountain top. Yes. Because when you're on the mountain top, you're too happy up there. Yes. You're too satisfied up yes. there. Yes. Sitting on the mountain top and watching troubles yes. flying around yes. in the valley. My God. And don't realize they're going to strike you. Do you know God's best for us? Is when you are in the valley. Yeah, it's in the valley you learn to be Christ-like. It's in the valley you need to stretch out. Because stretching brings forth growth. Have you ever heard someone say that boy is stretching? That child is stretching. What you are saying, I see growth in that child. Because stretching is a time of growth, a preparation, a time for warfare. For you to grow, you can't go up and live up on the mountain. You gotta go in the valley to grow. You grow to the hinge of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. A time for one to die to serve yes, and live for Christ. Yes, amen. A time when we look ahead yes, amen. for this joy. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But right now I'm going to hell. Mm. Hey, on now. But I know the end there will be joy and speak yes, of Full of glory. In other words, there's joy in the spiritual journey. Yes, but you gotta wait until it's over. Yes, right. And some of you adult Christians love the mountain top peak. Yes, you love the mountain peak yes. experience. Yes. Especially those of you with the Pentecostal background. All right, yeah. <laughs> you speak in tongues. You cast out devils. You, you plead the blood of Jesus upon people when you are in the valley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't the valley. Yes. That valley is so low. Mm -hmm. It isn't the valley. You feel like you can kill all the devil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or when you go up on the mountain top. That's right That's right. Because they hope there and there you can come up there so you can do all the one with him. Yes, sir. You, 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 who is a poor cake. 
of dynamite on the mountaintop. Yes. But God of a way is it? Mm -mm. God of a way to take you down into the valley. Yes, sir. Put you in the valley and make you see where you are. You make you go down there and you're going to hold your rain real tight. Yes, sir. Well, well. I well. see so mm. My God. You probably have to choose. Yes. Show who you are. That's right. And show you who is against you, too. Come on now. Because people who are those with the Pentecostal background, mm. they know how to cast out demons. They know how to lay on and sick. Yes. And some of you get upset when they're doing it because you don't like what they're doing. Uh, you put them in danger come to you. Mm -hmm. They can see danger coming. Yes. And they can call upon the Lord. Yes. But some of you think wrong. Oh, Jesus. You think everyone is against you. Oh my God. Uh huh. Because mm -hmm. in the valley, I think everyone's against yes. you. Yes, sir. Never stop to think it might be God setting you up hey, for growth. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. You need to grow in the image of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Maybe your testing time has arrived. Yes. Yeah. Accept the test. Listen. Hey. I'm telling you what Christ went through. In Matthew chapter 4 and verse 1 it says talking about temptation in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness mm -hmm. to be tempted of the devil. Yes. Right. Yes. And just like Jesus be tempted, you be tempted too. Yes. Do you know that Jesus time in the wilderness set him up for three and a half years of ministry? Yes. You think so you can just come and start preach like that? Uh, you gotta go down the valley yes, hey, come on. Hey. and learn the valley experience. Mm -hmm. hey. Some of you just start to read the Bible and you get saved and you jump up and start to say I'm a preacher. Start telling how good God is. Hey. Hey. You're right. Yes, sir. You you're not in the valley yet. Some of you have to reach the fire and start across God. Because you wasn't right in the beginning. <laughs> Listen, since Jesus had his will and his experience, you need to know. You, uh, yours is coming too. And then when you're heading for the mountain. You're going to meet somebody that says, show me how you walk when you're out of the wilderness. Show me how you talk when you come out of wilderness. Leaning on the Lord. Show me your footworks when you come out of wilderness. Some of you have two left foot. I mean, I'm sorry about that. Talk about who you are dancing, you have two left foot. Oh gosh. But one thing, one thing, when you're going to wilderness, you'll be trained. You'll be trained in the wilderness. How oh, you know that, Pastor? Jesus Christ went to the wilderness to be trained. <laughs> Listen, you can know a Christian who is serious from one who's picky picky. Any Christian walk up on the smooth side of the mountain, that's a Christian. When you walk on the rough side, you have foot, place to put your foot to so you keep on going up. But when you walk on the smooth side, you're going to find ways to get up there. Oh gosh. Let me not say it right. Come in, you know what say, hear me. A lot of slipping and sliding. Yes. Must go on. Yes. Why? He make you stronger in the Lord. Yes. 
But I'm saying you have a hard time reaching and preaching powerful message if you just come on the rough side. Mm -hmm. you, you don't know how to navigate, navigate in waters, deep waters. And so some of you cheat on your papers. When time for you to do the natural work, you don't know how to do it. Yes. You cheat on your papers. Talk right. how powerful a Christian you are. Ah, it, and you still cursing your neighbor. Mm -hmm. hey. oh. <laughs> Talking how powerful a Christian you are. Yes. And still cursing bad words. Yes, Most of all, hey. at your workplace, your best person who works beside you don't even know you're a Christian. Right. Can you never tell him that Jesus saves? As a matter of fact, the person beside you love them rude and dirty, dirty books. And you're right, you're watching it with them. Oh, should I say that? Should I say that? Mm. Can't hold your water. As somebody tell you something, you tell somebody else. Become the master of gossips. I better stop this before you start to stone up here. People can see that you're not growing. You're not growing in Christ. You are not getting deep in Him. You are just sweeping the dust off the surface of your spiritual life. You are not handling the valley experience too well according to what God gave you. Yes. Our God intend for you to have. Yes. You're too comfortable. Yes, sir. You love your comfort. Yes. And let me tell you this. God may lead you into the valley like he led Jesus into the wilderness. Yes, sir. But you need to navigate your way out of there. Yes. God never intend for you to build your house in the valley. Right. Whenever the valley carry your tent with you. Yes, sir. Amen. So every time you move, you raise your tent again. Yes. Oh Jesus. Yes. Mm. God wants you to live in tent. Yes. So you can move up. Yes. God place you in the valley. Yes. In the valley of decision. You got to get no home. You got to get out of that valley. Yes, yes, yes. God wants you to work your way out. out but Satan wants to keep you there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because he knows if you ever come out and go up on the mountain, mm -hmm. he can't handle you again. Right, you know, if you come out, mm -hmm. he's in trouble. Yes, yes. What do you mean by that, Pastor? Well, well, when Christ came, he was by himself mm -hmm. fighting Satan. Yes. And then he got 12 guys mm -hmm. to help him right fight Satan. Right. Yes. In Diangamba, and now we have millions yeah. to fight yeah. Satan. Yeah. I hope you are one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Uh -huh. You have to do a lot of fighting. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. Listen. God, God may lead you in the valley like he led Jesus in the wilderness. Mm. But God never intended for you to be the host there. Yes. In place in the valley. Yes. So you can make decisions. Right now, yes. When you work your way out. Yes. There are times you've got to tear your tent down. Mm -hmm. It's time to move on up. If you find yourself getting too comfortable, tear the tent down. Yes, sir. Move again. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you get to move. Oh, hey. Jesus. Jesus. Glory. Yes. Woo. Jesus. So now because not because you're part sharp. God knows your intentions. He knows your heart. He knows your heart cry. But you need to know, regardless of what happening. God is still with you. He knows who you are. 
You know they are not perfect in self yet. Yes. And you know we make stupid mistakes. Yes. Yeah, man, we make stupid mistakes at times. Yes, yes, sir. And stupid mistakes lead to stupid <laughs> choices. Ezekiel told them, the hand of the Lord is upon me. Yes. Yes, sir. And carry me out in the spirit where I need. To set up yes, my tent. Lord, right. This is spiritual navigation. Yes. The spirit act like a GPS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is your heavenly global position system. Yes. All right. GPS. Mm -hmm. This system is God's provide for you. And it's in your PNT. Your heavenly service right. are the space system service of the Lord okay. to lead and guide you. Right? Position, navigation, timing. Yes. Mm -hmm. God, our heavenly Father, has a wavelength. Mm -hmm. He used to contact you, right. his children. Yes. Right. God, a accurate navigation system to reach those who are connected to Him. God, I was surveying faculty in the heavens 